hope you're all staying safe and well out there and keeping yourselves in a positive frame of mind. I've got my beautiful baby Rosemary Claire today and I'm going to be changing her into that lovely it's like a turquoisey green outfit that I bought for her and it's got a lovely knitted top and it's got cream lace at the bottom and a bow, a cream bow with the little gold heart and long sleeves. It's got leggings with feet in the bottom and a pretty little bonnet with a frill round. Um, I can't wait to see what she looks like in a bonnet actually. And I'm going to do a tag, but before I do that, I wanted to say, could you please send out positive thoughts and prayers to our dear friend, Dolly friend, Kirsten, who's having an operation. If you could do that, I'd be very grateful. And to our dear friend, Holly, Holly Church, who's not very well again, bless her. So lots of love to you, Holly, and I hope you feel better very soon. And you too, Kirsten. And lots of love to my dear friend Jane from Button Hill Babies, who's sadly lost her father. Um, big kisses to you. Thinking of you, Jane, and hoping everything goes okay. So lots of love and prayers being sent to my Dolly friends all around the world. Not only because it's Valentine's, but because people need it people need our positive thoughts and our love so if you could do that i'd be very grateful so i'm going to change this beautiful little girl who i can't get enough of and i'm going to do a tag that i saw on one of my favorite channels in the sparrow's nest with my friend melanie and ratty and um, it, i believe it originated with weeby dolls and it's a valentine's tag so let's unwrap this baby girl. She's still in this beautiful lace dress from her godmother Lucy and um, in her lovely blanket as well. <laughs> Should we take this out, sweetheart? She's got her dummy in. She's just had her bottle, so she's a pretty happy little girl. And the first question is, do you think Valentine's Day is overhyped? Well, yes, of course. Everything is overhyped now, isn't it? Um, whether it's Christmas, Easter, Valentine's, whatever it is, it's overhyped because people want to make money out of it, basically. But I'm a great believer in just keeping it to what you want for yourself. You know, um, they're going to overhype it. They want your money, but you don't have to give it to them and you don't have to do what they want you to do over you go darling there you go let's undo this zip um so it's all how you keep things in my mind's eye you know christmas to us is a family thing and we don't get caught up in all the hype for it um so yeah you know it, it just depends what you do basically so I think really it's up to you. Everything is overhyped because no matter what it is nowadays, people just want money, don't they? There you go, sweet baby girl. Come on then. Come on, baby girl. Here she is, my gorgeous girl. Oh, can't get enough of this girl. I really can't. I'm just terrible. All the other babies are taking second place at the moment to this little sweetheart keep trying to get her to suck her fingers and that but I'm not as good as Alexandra is at doing these things so I can't oh look I said that and she's done it oh no she's taking it out <laughs> you're just <laughs> making your mummy look silly she's making her mummy look silly let's take this beautiful dress off yeah I keep trying to get her to do it but she's not interested are you She's not interested, this gorgeous girl. No. Oh. Are you going to suck this finger for mummy? Come on. Show everybody you can suck your finger. There. <laughs> She's going to do it now. She's sucking her finger. Look at that. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I just love her so much. Oh, what am I like, ladies? Um, so, yeah, uh, overhyped. Number two, favourite Valentine's memory. I haven't actually got one. Um, my husband isn't a great romantic. He does things for me all the time. So, he, he, you know, sometimes he'll come home with some flowers for me and or, uh, you know, a bar of chocolate or something. So he doesn't do things on a specific day. But, you know, he does things for me all the time. So I haven't got one particular memory that I can share with you, unfortunately. I mean, he did do a lovely thing on our 21st wedding anniversary. He actually came home with 21 red roses. And that was a big surprise. I wasn't expecting that at all. So, yeah, that was really nice. Oh, those fit nicely. Those fit lovely, don't they? <laughs> you are just your Oh, I love her. I love her so much. Yes, yeah, so he, he did it, you know, so that's fair enough, isn't it? So, yeah, he, he did that and that was really nice. So that's kind of a nice memory, but not Valentine's. Number three, conversation cards or chocolate strawberries. I, um, I don't know what conversation cards are. Uh, so I would go for chocolate strawberries with that one. And celebrity you'd like to have on Valentine's Day. Well, I thought about this and, you know, there's a lot of frivolous things I could say. But... When I thought about it, there's one man who I would really love to have a chat with, and that's a man I admire greatly, and that is David Attenborough. I am very concerned about the state of the planet, about global warming um, and the animals and everything that's happening. Uh, you know, I, I am so concerned about it. And we did go, myself and Conrad, my son, we went to to see a documentary at Cineworld, if you remember, before it was shut down again, with David Attenborough, all about this. Um, so I think I'd love to spend some time chatting to him. He's in his 90s now, and he has so much knowledge of the natural world. He, it's been his job his whole life. So, yeah, I would love to chat to him and talk about that and get his views on things and how we could pull ourselves back from the terrible situation that we're in. So yeah, David Attenborough. Who am I going to spend Valentine's Day with? Number five. Uh, the three of us will be here and Chloe. Uh, we're in lockdown, so we're not going anywhere. So it will just be the three of us as normal, really. There you go, darling. This colour looks gorgeous on her too. She's just gorgeous and she looks lovely and everything. I know. <laughs> um, number six, Valentine Day dinner plans. No, we haven't got any um, plans for anything different although we will be doing a nice soup we're doing a broccoli soup tonight so we will have that and number seven red or pink well i'm a, a great lover of pink always have been come on baby girl there we go darling let's just turn you over sweetheart there you go look at those curls <laughs> just do your buttons up so, uh, yeah, I love pink, so I would pick pink, although I do like red, uh, you know, around Christmas time and that. Um, number eight, flowers or candy? Flowers, every time. I absolutely adore flowers and love having flowers in my home. I like to get some new ones every week. And I've been very, very lucky this year because I've had a lot of wonderful flowers from my gorgeous friend Lucy, who's been sending them to me. Um, and she's just amazing. Mwah! Love you, Lucy. So, yeah, um, absolutely adore flowers. 
and love having them in my home all the time. Look at that on her. Doesn't that look cute? And it fits so lovely too. This is another mayoral set that I got her. There you go, sweet baby girl. That looks super cute on you. What do you think? She looks lovely in that colour, doesn't she? Um, number nine, sushi or pizza? Well, there's no way you get me in anything raw. So, pizza, definitely. Beer or wine? I've never drunk beer in my life, so it would be wine. Um, let me just give her hair a brush, and then I'll try this little this little hat on her see what she looks like in a hat goodness goodness gracious mummy couldn't find the brush there we go look at your hair look at your hair baby girl it's so beautiful There we go and let's see what she looks like in this little bonnet we haven't tried her in a bonnet have we so It'd be interesting to see. And what's the last one? Ten. Perfect Valentine's date night. Um, let's pop this on you, sweetie. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Yes, you do. I think we just put it on the loose one. I don't like to put anything too tight on their hair. So I'll put it on the loosest sock. My perfect date night would be to go for a meal. Um, oh, look at her. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Oh, she's so gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, go for a meal. Um, and then go to the cinema and have a big ice cream, a massive ice cream, and watch a good film. That would be my perfect valentine's date well i hope you've enjoyed seeing my gorgeous gorgeous girl again you all said you wouldn't mind so i took you at your word <laughs> she said i'm not gonna do it twice mummy no she doesn't want to so there she is in her gorgeous outfit i love this outfit on her i love knitted things they're so nice and she looks cute in that very nice in that colour, doesn't she? And I hope you enjoyed the tag as well. Give you a close-up of her little face. It's very chilly here, but it's a nice bright day. It's minus three at the moment, and it's minus nine overnight, so very chilly. So stay safe out there. Have a good weekend, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Say bye-bye. Big kisses to everybody. Hope you didn't mind seeing me again today. And I'm going to wrap her up in a beautiful blanket. Bless her. Keep her nice and warm. <laughs> and I'm going to go and watch Harry, Harry Potter. Mwah! Love you ladies and gentlemen.